of course, this criticism uh, has been because it's widened its emergency use program for vaccines that are still very much in trials. Yeah, that's right. So, so China gave emergency uh, use uh, authorization to a couple of vaccines uh, run by China National uh, Biotech, uh, a, a company here, and Sinovac, uh, which is one of the, the, the global front runners, actually, in July. And that was meant to be uh, directed at uh, frontline medical workers. Uh, staff at the borders, uh, quite similar to emergency use uh, authorizations in other countries. But since then, it has been widened. Uh, employees of, of, of state-owned uh, enterprises, uh, particularly those uh, looking to go overseas, have been offered the, the vaccine and have been taking it up. We've also seen uh, students uh, being considered to be offered the vaccine and a couple of cities in China sort of opening it up uh, to general use. That's uh, created some some criticism there. Now, China responded to that yesterday. They said uh, that, uh, number one, uh, there is still a risk uh, of COVID uh, of flaring in China again, even though they've basically eliminated the virus. And also that they haven't seen any significant adverse events uh, among any of these people and in the clinical trial. So that's giving them a bit more comfort to do that. Right, Emma, give us the latest when it comes to the virus cases in Asia. We have seen some case numbers easing in India and perhaps some more optimism in Singapore as well. Yeah, I mean, India is an interesting case. Uh, it's hard to tell if this is the start of a trend, maybe a pivot in the way that they're testing or even a, a change in the way that they're counting cases. Uh, that's, uh, you know, a pretty big and interesting thing there. But they have uh, been going down. Uh, I mean, we're still talking about uh, an increase of around 47,000, 50,000 a day in cases. But that's down from over 100,000 a couple of weeks ago. That said, uh, the country is about to enter into a, uh, a festival period uh, where there are a lot of gatherings. We've got Diwali and other uh, festivals coming up. Uh, so a lot of concern that the numbers will spike back up again there.